So over the past few days, I've been doing the advent of code. I'm on day four right now. And as I was writing this, it takes about like 20 minutes to do it. My entire life, a good developer has always been someone who's able to do these complex looping and, and summation and, and like complex mathematical operations on large data sets. And there's a lot of iteration, maybe some recursion and things get really tough. And you have to be able to like keep your mind sharp and be able to like, you know, hold all this data in your head at any given time. Well, I don't know if you've seen this lately, but all over Reddit, there's this thing called chat GPT. And basically what this is, is this is an AI that can answer a lot of questions, but most importantly for us as developers is that it can write code. Um, and I was just kind of thinking, wouldn't it be fun to do day four of the advent of code using chat GPT to write all of our utility functions? Now, I just want to say, ChatGPT is not quite there yet to replace developers. You still need to be able to like audit code and determine things very specifically. But I thought it would be super cool if we could use it to like write some of the utility functions that's gonna get us all the way to the answer. So let's go into day four. So I've already kind of read all of this. It's basically what it is, is like it's, it's a range finding kind of uh, question. So like basically what it is, is like you're gonna get like essentially like tuples of data. Um, they could actually be more, but basically what it is, is like you want to be able to determine a range um, and you want to be able to determine if certain values fall within that range. So for example, we have two to four. And so like, does it fall within, you know, each other, right? So like we can see two, three, four and six, seven, eight, they don't overlap at all. But if we kind of go down here, then we see that this range completely contains this range. And so what we want to be able to do is be able to determine if one of the ranges contains another range. And so uh, we have like our data set here. So it's just like a bunch of uh, ranges uh, separated by a comma. Um, and so let's see if ChatGPT can help us solve this. So first thing is I have the data here. So I'm just going to um, const ranges equals, and I'm just going to go data.map and inside uh, we're going to have range one and range two um, and so those will be the two ranges that we want to see and so i'm just going to console.log uh, range one range two just to kind of display it out so i'm just going to npm run dev here and so as you can see here we have all of our ranges and so now what i'm going to ask chat gpt to do is to take both of the ranges and determine if one of them totally contains the other. So here in ChatGPT, I'm gonna go write uh, a function in TypeScript that takes in two strings uh, that represent uh, ranges of numbers. Each range is separated by a dash and it denotes the upper and lower, or the, the, the other way, lower and upper limit of the range. Compare both strings and determine if one range contains the other range let's see what happens i don't know this is so cool i just like love watching this thing like write out code so it seems to be taking in these range so lower one and upper two so returns true so five and seven is totally within one to ten yeah um 11 to 20 is false yeah so one to ten is one to ten is true they totally contain each other um, 1 to 10, 1 to 5. Okay, so it seems to be doing what I want based on its test that it's written for itself. How crazy is this? Um, so I'm just going to pass it in here and then I'm actually just going to replace this console log with the ranges. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm just going to return this and then I'm just going to console.log the ranges. And so here we go, we now have a bunch of Boolean values. So I just wanna see, so some of the other pairs have noticed that only their assignment fully contains the other. For example, two to eight fully contains three to seven. 
and six of six is fully contained by four of six. In pairs where one assignment fully contains the other, one elf in the pair will be exclusively cleaning sections their partner will already be cleaning. So there seem to be, seems like the most in need of rec rec reconsideration. In this example, there are two such pairs. In how many assignment pairs does one range fully contain the other? So every time that this is true in this array, um, it's a, a value of one. So we wanna like sum eight one. Every time it's false, it doesn't have a value, so we'll just do zero. So we could easily calculate this by doing a reduce function, but I don't want to code today. I want ChatGPT to do it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go write a function that takes in an, oh, sorry, I just want to make sure it's in TypeScript. In TypeScript, that takes in an array of Booleans and, okay. A true value is equal to one, while a false value is equal to zero. Summate the array based on this criteria. I don't even know if I have to actually do all this stuff, but it takes an array of Booleans. And so let's see, some a Boolean. Okay, so true, false, true, true, false returns a three. That's right, true, 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 true returns five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so crazy that this happens. So yeah, so now we have this summate Boolean. Um, we seem to be having an issue here, but that's just being silly. The sum is a number. I don't know why it didn't give me the types. I asked in TypeScript, but okay, that's fine. I guess sometimes you just have to do a little bit of code. So let's go sum equals sum eight booleans, and I'm gonna pass it in the ranges. And then I'm gonna console.log the sum. And so it's 540. Okay, let's see if this is the answer. So 540, submit, that's the right answer. Crazy, crazy. So just to reiterate, we basically just told an AI to write us a function that takes in two ranges and determines if they contain one another. And then we told the AI to write a summate function that basically just loops over all of the values and, and you know, calculates them. Now, you know, Let's just audit this code really fast before you know we we totally just walk away from our jobs for the rest of our lives. Um, here, this isn't so bad. It's you know it's it's smart. It's parsing the string into an integer, which is great, and it's splitting them with, like through by the dash, and that's because I told it to, and it's genius. Um, and so then it's just doing like a check of if the lower limits uh, are you know contained within themselves in the upper limits or or vice versa. Um, so that's not a bad check. That's pretty good here. Um, in the summate booleans, it's mapping over all the values of the booleans and then converting them into a one or zero, and then it's taking that array and then reducing it and summating everything. You could easily do this in one pass. You wouldn't have to like pass twice. You don't have to. You don't have to like convert the map to boolean values. Like you could literally do it here, um, like all in one reduce function. But good for it. That's freaking amazing, considering it took me like two seconds. Um, and then, yeah, like, I mean, I mapped the original data array. Like, I mean, so I did break my own promise, and I did do a little bit of coding. But, you know, the all the range calculation, all the summation of the values and everything was totally done by this AI. And it's absolutely incredible. Um, this is a very cool tool. Um, if uh, you're bored and you just want to check it out, it's chat.openai.com forward slash chat. Check it out. Have some fun. It's really cool. It doesn't always give you what you want. You have to be, you have to kind of practice a little bit with like giving it instructions. Um, but very cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am Charlie. This is the dev environment. I'll keep them coming. <laughs> have a good night.